Yo, what's good, Nation? Welcome to my anime tag. Basically, uh, I got tagged by Habit Plays over on YouTube. And since, you know, I have no upload for basically this week, which you should be watching this video, so you know the 20% chance that I have an upload actually is. So you just gotta believe, guys. Even though I said only 20% in my update video, 20% is still a percent. So basically, a tag video works like this. Basically, a YouTuber will tag you to answer some of questions. When you're tagged, you basically have to do the question, then you have to tag another YouTuber, or you could tag an entire, you know, subscriber base, which I might do, I might tag you guys to actually do the questions in the comment section below. Basically, answer all the questions I will leave in the description below, in the comment section below, or over on my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram page, whatever you choose. So, the first question is, what is your top three underrated anime or anime movie in your opinion? So basically, my real goal first is Noragami, which actually I reviewed over on the YouTube channel. Second would be Bartender. And third would be... I'm trying to think of a third one because it's very hard to think about this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to either say JG Club or Rage of Bahamta Genesis. Basically, since I reviewed Norgami, I'm not really going to explain it. Basically, Norgami, I'm going to explain it anyways, regardless. So basically, Norgami talks about the god Yota, basically, who is the god of war. He actually decided to become the god of delivery since he doesn't like being god of war anymore. So basically, you know, he's trying to get this you know, big shrine to basically you know, make sure everyone remembers him. Not because if God is really, you know, get remembered, the god might disappear. You know, the guy just wants to be remembered, so he's trying to build a shrine from scratch. And he's one of the poorest gods there, so basically you need to build a shrine until one day Hikiyori basically you know, rescues him for basically getting, you know, crashed by a vehicle because gods are very hard to notice, but she managed to notice him and now she basically, you know, has her soul, basically she can take her soul out of her body whenever she wants to and that's an issue, basically she told Yato to help her fix her up and then basically the show entirely follows that, Hikiyori trying to get her body back and Yato just basically, you know, trying to get his own shrine. And the second one I said was Rage of Bahamda Genesis or GG Club. Cause I'm saying GG Club and Rage of Bahamda Genesis because, you know, I can't decide between the two, so I'm going to put both of them on the list. So basically, JG Club is... I can't remember what JG Club was even about, honestly. I believe JG Club was about basically people in a club, about this guy who was in a club, whatever, with all of these females. It's basically like any other, you know, side of anime, but it has its own little quirk to it. It's very funny. It's actually a comedy that we really do enjoy as well, but... Rage of Bahamda Genesis is a show that I recently finished watching because I put that show on an unneeded hold. It basically talks about, you know, gods, demons, and humans basically coming together to basically, you know, seal this big dragon creature called Bahamut. Bahamut, who's basically, you know, trying to destroy the entire world and all of them. They all miraculously came together and started them since, you know, Bahamut is more powerful than a god or a demon is as well. And just the plot to this show, you know, just provides the opening theme being absolutely amazing as well. The ending theme being very contrasting from the opening as well. Just the whole... Since I watched episode 1 to 7 at one point, like, you know, when the show aired, and then I kind of just, you know, stopped and recently finished watching the show from 8 to, like, 13, no, 8 to 12, it's kind of hard to remember the memory, but the show was just absolutely amazing. After episode 7, the show just got very interesting, the characters got very interesting, and, you know, the more of them just got more involved in the plot, it just became something else. Not, the first 7 episode was obviously building up to the moment of 8 to 13, and the ending was just... It was kind of anticlimactic, but I'm kind of glad it just occurred as well, because, you know, Bahama was just, you know, they were building up the hype for Bahama and everything else, and all of a sudden it just wasn't that, you know, I wish it was a bit longer, maybe that's why it would have been awesome, but the ending conclusion was an, an ending conclusion, and it does have a second season, so perhaps it will make the ending for me a lot better. And Bartina basically talks about Sasuke Ru, and basically all the people come to his bar and obviously try to ask for his help, you know, and it's all episodic, so... Each episode will provide something different, something refreshing. If you love alcohol, you will absolutely love the show. If you don't love alcohol, you will still love the show anyways, if you can, you know, withstand the whole alcohol topic, because, you know, the alcohol topic and the whole, you know, helping of the others is kind of merged into whining. It's kind of interwines, and really, if one isn't there, then the other just can't really operate, if you know what I mean. So, JG Club or Bahama, Raja Bahama Genesis, Shingeki no Genesis, Bartender, and I already forgot what I said. Oh, Noragami. There we go. If I don't go fast or I don't keep everything in the list, I usually forget. So let's go on to the second question. The second question being your underrated anime girl. My underrated anime girl being Rita from, you know, Shingeki no Genesis or Rage of Bahama. Basically, you know, towards the entire series, she didn't really get a lot of screen time. But when she did get some screen time, she was just absolutely very funny with her satire type comedy. It just it was absolutely just... A refreshing character in this show, honestly, you know, the main character obviously doing their own little thing, but she would obviously try to help 
all the characters in their own way. So basically, she was the one who figured out the mysteries of this show, and she's absolutely really unlovable. She's basically she used to be a necromancer back in this village, but apparently she's a zombie now, who, and with her abilities, abilities to basically you know take to basically you know possess all the zombies and everything else in a way. Just her magic power, just absolutely brilliant. And her character is to me is sort of refreshing. And the third question being, if I can remember, because I'm doing this all from my head, because I managed to learn to memorize all the questions. Being, what's my favorite anime, you know, cover or my favorite anime song? My favorite anime song being Death Parade, friggin' opening, of course, Flyers, the full version of the song. Frig I'm not, I'm not gonna say one, I'm gonna say multiple, because I can't decide on one, because every time my favorite always changes. Being Jojo Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders, Stardust Crusaders, that's the name of the song, Stardust Crusaders from Jojo Bizarre Adventure, recently. Also, you know, Fade Prisma, basically, um, Emya Ilya, they can bring Noragami again. Norton from Noragami, Bakuno's opening Guns N' Roses, the full version, freaking, you know, Psychopaths OST, you know, I believe it was, I can't remember what, like, I can't remember, Psychopaths OST is my favorite of the entire of the show, there's so many OSTs I love in this show, my favorite track, anime track, um, I don't think I relatively have any favorite ones, oh yeah, some Jojo Bizarre, oh yeah, Elephant Talk from Jojo Bizarre Adventure is one of, currently, my, or oh, freaking, you know, top three in terms of anime songs. The fourth question being, let me see if I can remember the question. Ah, oh, yes, I had all the questions. Top three must slash kickstart for anime newcomers. Full Malakas Brotherhood will definitely get you into anime. Well, Shingeki no Kojo will, but you know this, this is basically my substitute for Shingeki no Kojo, which I won't put on the list. It's Full Malakas Brotherhood, Bakuno, which actually here we go. See, Bakuno was the first anime that I've ever owned. And it's absolutely it's just a must watch, dude. Freaking, it's basically alchemy, immortal gangsters, and basically, you know, having a life of crime. It shows you the other perspective of the world. Basically, you know, how people say you can't make a living off crime. This show just, you know, just disproves that theory. It's an absolutely fun with the English dub for Full Metal Aqua's Brotherhood. And this show, and, and you know, basically, the third show is going to come in is Magi. But the English dub for Magi is good. But, you know, the, I, my opinion, the sub. Is a bit better. I did watch season one in dub and then season two in sub, and I sort of prefer the sub, but at the same time, I sort of prefer the dub. So in a way, I'm kind of iffy about the sub and dubish type topic of that show because sometimes my preference will change. So Bakuno, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and Magi. And finally, my fifth, the fifth and final question is, what got you into anime? So basically, back in 2014, around I believe March-ish, I used to basically do LPs from 2013 to 2014 March. Until one day I got into a boss for, you know, for, not, I was gonna say for not, I got into a boss in Final Fantasy X HD and I just quit the game for like, you know, I didn't have no idea how many months until I started getting an anime. Basically, Soul Eater, and after I finished watching Soul Eater, I basically did a top 8 Soul Eater soundtrack, which is still on my channel, by the way, if you want to watch that video, you can go watch that video. Basically, after I did that video, I got immense amount of feedback as well, how to improve my channel, a lot of likes, they say, you know, hey, let me just keep doing anime videos, anime videos, anime videos, until basically where I eventually got into the whole hobby of collecting manga, you know, watching anime a lot. It just became kind of a thing that just really happened. I just got into anime just by doing YouTube videos, and you guys obviously still sticking around just to watch all these videos, which I really do appreciate. If you like the video, dislike the video, leave a comment, share, just watch the video and do nothing at all. I mean, as long as you watch the video and you enjoy the video, that's just really awesome. So thank you so much for having it place for tagging me on you know this anime tag i did remember i got tagged by my friend mecha Z. i will be doing an anime tag once i get a chance to watch shiki and get you to explore the show lore because i really want to watch a lot more anime i want to watch these you know 20 more animes or a ton more animes i believe that tag was for people who watch like an immense amount of animes i really want to have like you know whole arsenal of shows i can use because that tag video is going to be really brilliant i cannot wait to do that tag video maybe around you know maybe Fall, I'll give it to the tag video. I got tagged quite a while back. I'm so sorry for not doing that, Jose, if you're watching this video as well. So basically, thanks so much for having for tagging me on this video, as I said before. And for the people I tag, I tag you, the nation, as I said in the start. So basically, be sure to comment below your, you know, your answers to all the questions I said. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike the video if you did not like it at all. And any, any feedback to help me improve is awesome. So I'll see you guys later. See ya.